So, I am remaking the Rabbit Hutch video because the first one was super bad quality and it was one of my first videos on the channel, so it's pretty bad. Um, so, I'm going to remake it with more details. I can't work in the shop today because we have a we have that in the way this is my workstation today it is very bad i do not like it but i'm cutting everything with that and it's making my cuts not the greatest got 48 inches then those are cut to 42 inches and these are the pieces that run um that connect the legs together for the front and the back all of these are 41 inches all right so we have the first two pieces of the hutch done two foot there and on this side 42 inches 41 inches and it's got to be 18 inches from here to there Three pieces are each 21 inches long and that is it you screw them in to connect the two front and back pieces and then that is it so, each one of those pieces 22 inches long from here to there 14 degree angle so now that the frame is basically done the only other pieces that you would need for the framing um if you want to do uh one whole cage which is pretty typical that's what i used in my last videos then you would put uh two by four here and a two by four here and the door will go right here easy simple um i believe each piece would be it would be about 17 inches so if, if you want to do one cage 17 inches high um, you can do two cages, you can put a board here to there, and then you can build your own door right here. A whole door on this side, and a whole door on that side, and you can put a piece of plywood sitting right here when you're done with it. I usually put a piece of 2 by 4 from here to there, just more support um, for the plywood on the back so it's not flapping as much. Um, Speaking of the plywood, the piece for the back is obviously four feet and it should be 18 inches tall. I usually cut mine around 17 inches so that I have some room for the OSB that goes on top. The side pieces, they should be 24 inches or two feet. of it from the bottom that board to the top of this two foot I usually come out around 23 so I have an inch of space and 17 is what I usually do which is what I cut mine um the roof if you want overhang I usually do mine around 50 inches so you have an inch on both sides and 25 inches if you go like this I usually do mine around 27 two inches overhang I mean one inch overhang on each end each side um, 
the wire I use half inch um, hardware cloth but if y'all guys like actually like the videos I'm making um, like this like this video here or my older videos about the rabbit hudges um, just comment something I do anything so that I can find out if y'all like it or not because I have a chicken coop video like how to build a chicken coop video on my channel it has five views it's very very low um i thought when i uploaded it it would get the same attention as the other how to build uh videos but it hasn't i'm not sure exactly why um the same type of video but that video i think y'all would like a lot it's a really nice chicken coop. it's the, one of the best things i've ever built I also have a, another hutch design that is a lot bigger. It's five feet tall, six feet long, and three foot wide. It is huge. Every time I build them, they are huge, always in the way. They are enormous. Um, it's like twice the size of this one here. But yeah, go check out the chicken coop video. It's very, it's not the best video, but it's a good video.